All right, welcome to Intermediate English. Congratulations on making it this far. Wow. Here's Claudia. Hi, Claudia. Hi, good morning. Morning. So, Claudia, I was just starting the class. I was saying, welcome to Intermediate English and congratulations on making it this far. This is a big accomplishment. So, <laughs> round of applause. A round of applause for my Intermediate English students. Um, it's been great working with you and helping you get to this you know, going from the beginner to the intermediate stage. So uh, let's just jump right into it. Uh, as usual, we'll start off uh, with some introductions. We're gonna talk about some pronunciation exercises for the S sound in English. So, you know, when we put that S on the third person um, in English, it can produce three unique sounds. So we'll talk about that. We'll review the, the simple present tense and the progressive a little bit, and today's going to have a lot of conversation. All right, guys, I think you know me. You have my contact information. Uh, I'm curious, are we, are we friends or connections on Facebook or LinkedIn? Do, you, do either of you use Facebook or LinkedIn? Yeah. Do you, you use Facebook? Facebook, Claudia? Yeah. Okay. I'm going to put in my chat my Facebook link. Uh, awesome. So if you'd like to add me as a contact uh, on Facebook, please do so. I, I enjoy connecting with my students so that way we can uh, continue practicing English on Facebook. Okay. And I have a group for, uh, for, for my students on Facebook too, so that you can find conversation partners. So please take a moment to click on my, uh, my profile for Facebook so you can add me as a contact on, on Facebook and uh, I can share the group information so you can keep practicing. Um, so uh, we're not gonna spend a lot of time on this just because we've, we, we know each other pretty well. So let's just jump right into the, uh, the conversation for today. So, uh, in English, as you know, in the third person singular, in the simple present tense, we add an S to the verb. Uh, now, this can produce three unique sounds. The first sound, obviously, is the S sound, like a hostess greets customers. Do you hear that? S greets, right? <laughs> it almost sounds like a whistle when you, when you make it. Greets. <laughs> Um, now, it can produce a slightly harder Z sound. It's more of a vibration, right? Z, like a construction worker builds things, builds things. Now, I'm exaggerating the sound a little bit because I want to make sure that you can hear it, but it's there. Construction worker builds things. Finally, it can produce another syllable and sound more like an is sound, right? Again, with that vibration, is, mm. it kind of takes place with the teeth there. So for example, a plumber fixes pipes. Now this typically happens when the verb already ends with an X, with an S sound, like fix already sounds like an S on the end, fix. fix. So we have to add this other syllable in this harder sound so that we can make sure that we hear when somebody is using the third person. Fixes. Fixes. So let's practice. Uh, Rafa, ask Claudia. What does our receptionist do? Uh, she talks in the, on the phone. She talks on the phone. Uh, which also produces the S sound, talks. Here we have a receptionist takes messages. Can you read that, Claudia? Uh, receptionist takes messages. Good. All right, so Claudia to Rafa. What does the dog do? The dog runs in the park. Yeah, so uh, I think runs is more of a harder Z sound. So if we're trying to produce the S sound, try this one, Rafa. The dog walks in the park. 
All right. Go ahead. What does, does a chef do? A chef cooks. Yeah, a chef cooks in the restaurant. Good, Claudia. Uh, what does a hostess do? A hostess greetings people. Hmm. So it's not going to be greetings. Greets people. There you go. What does a painter do? A painter paints houses. Painter paints houses. Good. What does a construction worker do? A construction worker uh, builds things. Yeah, so now, Rafael, we've gone from the S sound to the Z sound. So builds has a little bit harder yeah. sound. Try that again. Well, a construction worker, worker builds things. What does an accountant do? An accountant, accountant prepares taxes. And again, make that prepares a little prepares, harder. Prepares Better. taxes. Better, good. What does a taxi driver do? A taxi driver drives People to places, good. What does a musician do? A musician plays the instrument. Mm -hmm. Plays the guitar, good. What does a custodian do? A custodian cleans buildings. What does the girl do? Uh, the girl <clears throat> watch, watch, watches, the watches the movie. movies. Okay. What does a plumber do? A plumber fixes pipes. What does a teacher do? A teacher uh, teaches the students. What does a dishwasher do? A dishwasher watches the dishes. What does the runner do? A runner finishes um, the race. Yeah, finishes. The race. Okay. The race. All right. What does Jim do for fun? He plays the guitar. Which sound do you hear? The S, the Z, or the is? Plays. Is. Play. Is. Plays. Z. 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 Good, Claudia. What does Sarah do for fun? She walks in the park. Yes. What does Nora do for fun? She watches movies. Is. Yes. What does Tom do for work? He fixes things. Yes. Yes. What does Jessica do for fun? She listens to music. Is. Yes. Is. Yes. Good. Listens. What does Susan do at night? She cooks Italian food. Is. 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 All right, very good. Okay, so fill in the blanks. Number one, Mr. Rafael. The cook fries the eggs for breakfast. My skin. Each. I don't know itches. what is itch. My skin itches. Itches. Um, 
What is itches? Eh, es como decir me pica, right? My skin itches. Oh, okay. My skin itches. I think I have allergy. Oh, okay, an allergy. Uh, Anita does the ditches after dinner. The soldiers marches in the morning or marches? Mm -hmm. Careful, Claudia. Soldiers is plural. Okay. The soldiers march. <laughs> <There you go. laughs> oh, Mr. Adams teaches English very well. The students hurry to get to class. The bride blushes when the groom looks at her. Our dad watches our dirty clothes on the weekend. Very good. All right, now say no. Let's practice with our negative sentences. The cook doesn't fry, fry the eggs for breakfast. Rafael, did you cut your hair? Mm -hmm. Do you have a new haircut? The new no, I don't have uh, my cap. No, it, cap. it looks it looks different. Sorry, I thought, <laughs> I thought you had a new haircut. It looks good. <laughs> <laughs> All right, go ahead, Claudia, number two. My skin doesn't itch. I don't think I have an allergy. Anita doesn't do the ditches after dinner. The soldiers don't in the morning. Don't march in the morning. Mr. Adams doesn't teach English very well. The students don't hurry to get to class. The bride doesn't blush when the groom looks at her. Our dad doesn't wash our dirty clothes on the week. All right, now turn this into a question. Has the cook fried the eggs for breakfast? Say that again, Rafa, the volume just changed. Uh, my volume? Yeah. What, what did you just do to your microphone? You know what? I can keep it there. No, I don't know, teacher. I, I don't know how. That's, that's better. Increase the, increase the no, you just changed it back. You're, you're doing something to your computer or to your phone to change the volume. Okay, is That's that good. it? Perfect, that yeah. Now, okay, yeah, I think I and block my volume. All right, so. They, uh, does the cook fry the eggs for breakfast? Does my skin itches? Mm. No. So remember in the question, Claudia, you don't put the verb into the third person because you're putting do ah, okay, into okay. the third person, right? <clears throat> this does my skin each. Perfect. Does Anita do the ditches after dinner? Do the soldiers? March in the morning. Does Mr. Adam teach English very well? Do the students hurry to get to class? Does the bride blush when the groom looks at her? Does our dad wash our dirty clothes on the weekend? Well, 
What is happening here, Rafa? Uh, they are uh, in the right biking that I riding a bike. Yeah, they're riding bikes. Claudia, what's happening? Mm, they fight. <laughs> mm -hmm. So remember the question is in the progressive, Claudia, so you need to answer in the progressive too. Okay, they are um, fighting. They are fighting, yeah. <laughs> What's happening here? They are looking at the screen. They're looking at the screens, yeah. What's happening? Uh, they are uh, fix fixing problems. <laughs> so uh, they, are, they are talking or? yeah they're talking they're talking sure they're fixing problems maybe <laughs> what's happening here they are playing baseball all right so where are you take turns asking each other these questions Rafa to Claudia where are you working right now? I work in... I am working. I am working in ice cream store. Mm -hmm. What are you studying? studying? I am studying English. Are you planning anything exciting? Uh, yes, I am planning anything exciting. What is your family? So, for example, Claudia, there. For example, uh, yeah. I, I'm what are you planning? <laughs> I I am trying to open one more ice cream shop. Oh, really? Where are you gonna do that? Uh here in Thornton. Oh, good. What is your family doing right now? They are working right now. Is it raining, snowing, or snowing? Uh, no, it's not raining, it's not snowing. How hard is the wind blowing? The wind is not blowing hard. Describe what you're wearing, Claudia. What are you wearing um, today, Claudia? They are. No, what are, you, what are you wearing, Claudia? Oh, you. okay. <laughs> I'm wearing uh, uh, pants and t shirts. Okay. Uh, Rafael, describe what your teacher is wearing. Oh, my teacher is uh, wearing a shirt, a black, a white shirt. Mm -hmm. What kind of shirt is this? Is that the shirt? Yeah, white t-shirt, white t-shirt. White t-shirt. All right, take turns with these questions now. What time do you usually get up? I usually get up at 6 a.m. When do you start working? I start working on Monday. What time do you get off? I get off at... Rafael, the volume just changed. I get off um, at 8 a.m. What time do you go to bed? I go to bed at 10 o'clock. What is your favorite sports team? My favorite sports team is Broncos. Mm. Who is your favorite artist? Uh, my favorite artist is Shakira. <laughs> what is your favorite thing to do? 
my favorite thing to do is play tennis. What type of weather do you like? I like uh, running weather. What do you do during a typical day at work? Um, I deliver delivery packages on a typical day at work. What do you do on a typical day? Oh, finish. I typical go to the houses jumper. <laughs> I typically go to the bouncy houses. houses. Bouncy houses. Bouncy houses. <laughs> what is the pronunciation? Typical or typical? So oh. here, here we're talking about the day. So this is an adjective. A typical day off. Typical A typical day off. Day off. Yes. However, the way Claudia answered the question, she talked about what she typically does. So she changed it into an adverb. I typically go to the bouncy houses, which is, which is good, okay? Okay, good. So that was it for lesson number one. And we still have um, a lot of 